Hello friends, this is Rupesh and I'm watching CPPNet's video series on C++ and today's topic is overload typecast in C++. So you might have seen overloading binary operator, unary operator and all sort of operators. Now today we'll learn how to overload typecast. So let's look at the points now. So there are no need to typecast implicit data type. Yes, this is first point because we don't have to give explicitly a typecast for implicit data types because compiler knows that very well how to do that and what do I mean by implicit conversion it means converting integer into double it means you're assigning something which is double d is equal to x and this x is somewhere integer okay so compiler knows this very well that how to convert this x of integer type into double type but when it comes to the user defined data types, you need this overloading and we'll see with this dollar and rupee example. So here you can see that we have a rupee class, which is Indian rupees. And this is a dollar class, consider it a US dollar. So what I want is I will be converting dollar into rupees. So this is nothing but a wrapper for this rupee. And this is a wrapper for this dollar and rupee constructor and rupees sorry dollars constructor this should be r here somewhere okay it's my mistake no it doesn't matter so what we want we want from dollar to rupee okay so let's implement that so as you can see that this is just simple rupee class and dollar class let's create some variables dollar d and let's initialize ten dollar in that okay and let's create a rupee class and r and don't initialize anything what we want to achieve is something like this r is equal to d and this is perfectly fine you would like to do this and you don't want to have any special function for this you can include that function inside your class and that's what we are going to learn today so as we are going to convert dollar into rupee, we have to give the definition inside dollar because dollar should be knowing how to convert itself into rupee. So this is the syntax for that. And notice this, this is very interesting syntax operator rupee. And you will return rupee, but after converting, so dollar into whatever the conversion rate is. So it can be 71. I mean, for now it is 71 point something. Let's make it 71.5 or do one thing. Uh, we can have some function like a dollar to rupee exchange rate. This is a really very really big function. I know that, but it, it, it makes a good sense to create this function. So this function will return what is the exchange rate? Okay, so D O U B L E double and it will return 71 point something five. So anyway, even this is also a static number. Just assume this function is getting this number from somewhere from the exchange. Okay, which is an authentic place to get this number. So for now, I'm just placing this as a constant number and just to return that now let's compile this so it has compiled successfully but you didn't see anything right so let's see dollar dot print and rupee dot print so if you'll print this let's compile it again i'll make it little smaller so that it will be good yeah see we have this dollar equal to 10 we are printing d first so this is 10 and now this one is 715 so we have successfully implemented typecast in our class okay so let's try to understand how it is working so what we have here is we have this dollar d initialized with 10 so we have a dollar d object which is holding 10 dollars okay and now you initialize this d into r and this R is of type rupees. So this conversion should happen automatically. 
So you have given this conversion operator. So few points to notice is you don't pass anything inside this. This is first point. And second point is you don't give any return type. This is very important point to notice. In all other overloadings, you would have noticed that you was giving return type and then this operator keyword and what operator you are overloading then this bracket. Okay. And then your rest of the code. Okay. But this return type is not given when you are overloading typecast and why it is not given compiler trust you on that, that if you are typecasting D into R and you have overloaded that typecast, you would return that type only. So this is kind of trust compiler have for you. And this is just one temporary object we are creating here and passing whatever the dollar is this D holding. So this dollar is associated with this D and D is holding $10. So 10 multiplied by whatever the exchange rate is. So exchange rate is 71.5 multiplied by that it will call constructor of rupee. So here it will pass 715 and you ended up assigning that into rupee and this is what you are doing by just simply printing that and you successfully converted that into rupee and similarly if you want to convert rupee into dollar see we converted dollar into rupee but if you want to convert rupee into dollar you can do that how just by giving the dollar typecast here okay so that's kind of a homework for you and this is the time to summarize this video so if you have learned something new today don't forget to hit the like button dude and make sure you subscribe to my channel so that you can get the notification for upcoming videos like this i'll see you in the next videos bye bye